precious one. My name is Brock Kusimon, and I'm always excited when I come your way with another episode of the Ecclesia Project. And today we are going to talk about one of the most interesting topics you could ever get as a Christian, you know. Our mandate as believers, when Jesus Christ was living, he left his disciples with one mandate that they should go and make disciples for him. Now, we are going to talk about education as a mission field or using education as a mission ground. And today with me, uh, my friends have joined me again. They are not new on this platform. Sally. Yeah. And I don't say Sally. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Please, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? By God's grace. Thank you. Thank you. Ada. Boss. What are you doing? I'm not doing it. 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 All right, so today we are talking about education as a mission field. When you hear someone saying that education can be a mission field, what comes to mind? Let me start with you, Ada. All right. So when someone says that education can be a mission field, uh, what a person is saying that uh, you can use the educational platform to reach out to people uh, with the gospel of Jesus Christ, which okay. is the, the message of Christ. So you are an educationist or you are in educational environment or institution. Mm. You can use that as your world okay. to reach out to the people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm. Yes. A people of God unleash yes. to transform yeah. their world. Their world. So you, you you as an educationist, your world is the education field. It's, that is it. All right, that's 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 interesting. Let me come to you, Sally. What what are your thoughts? Okay, so using the education as your education as your mission field. Mission field. Yeah. So as we all know, you just rightly said we are being unleashed. Mm. to go and transform our world. And we know that our world, we can't just stand up from here and go to either India or But Indonesia. me, but me, I, I want to go to India. <laughs> but you have to start from somewhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't just leave here. You're not even done with maybe Accra, Accra. Mm. You want to go to India. Okay. So we have places that you can start your missions from. You get it? So whilst he, like, I'm in Accra here, we can start with maybe Adabraka. We move okay. to Seko. We move to you get you get to some place before you even think of going to other places, and then also before you even step out to even evangelize or mm. to share the word with someone, you need to consider your household first. Okay. So we mostly hear our leaders preach about it. The transformation uh, world, the transformation agenda, starting with wherever we find ourselves, okay. you get it. We need to learn to possess our surroundings where we find ourselves before we even think of going outside the world. So using the education sector, for example, mostly we have students who are in school and all that. Mm -hmm. So we can use that space as our own world. So as a student, mm -hmm. let me, this one, let me come to direct. Mm -hmm. As a student mm -hmm. on ATU campus, mm -hmm. how can the campus become a mission field for you? Okay, so by the grace of God, we have PENSA. Okay. ACU. Shout out to my people. <laughs> so PENSA has, um, we we have a day for evangelism. Okay. So mostly it's on Saturdays. So with that one, we have people who are coming together. Mm -hmm. So you don't have the burden on your head alone. You have people that are going to share their burdens with you. Then we have the LCC member who is in charge of the evangelism. Okay. We also have people who are part of the department. Mm -hmm. So using that space, we have students who are also reading various programs mm -hmm. in that school. So let's say we take the medical laboratory science student. Mm -hmm. We have somebody from Pensa who is in that field. Yeah, that field or that department. So that person knows this person, knows this person, knows that person. So sometimes when it's time for campus takeover, mm -hmm. it's quite unfortunate I'm not a... I'm not a student of ATU. Okay. Yes, I'm a student of AUCC. But then I know that mostly during the campus takeover, they go to class by class mm. to share the word. So to share the word, sorry. So I think that's how it, it's being done there. Okay, that's 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 interesting. Now let me come to you as a teacher. So you talked from the perspective of being a, a student. student. Now you as a teacher, you have students uh at at let me see at your beck and call. How can you use that field 
us. Or let me say, how does that become a mission field for you? All right, thank you. Uh, I want us to read a scripture from Matthew chapter 28, verse okay. 18 to 20, and then I'll pick it from there. Matthew chapter 8, uh, 28, verse 18 to 20 says that. I'm reading from the New Kingdom Version. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Mm. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the Amen. world. So um, Jesus is unleashing us into the world. So in fact, the word, uh, the, the word world used there in the Greek is the cosmos. Mm. It means that the systems of the world yeah. and education happens to be one of, of the, the systems, systems of the world. And so as a teacher, education as one of the systems uh, can be my mission field in a sense that it is where I mostly interact because I spend a, a minimum of eight hours in the, school. in the school. So minimum of eight hours in the school, it means that day in and day out for five days a week, I see students. You spend greater part of your day my, in the Yes, in the school. And I, I always interact with students. Yeah. So if I interact with a student and I am a Christian and that place is a system of the world and I'm supposed to take the gospel there, then I think that I even have a greater yeah. advantage. Yeah. Because for the pastor, maybe he misses members every Sunday, yeah. maybe some weekends, which you are not, uh, weekdays, evening service, which you are not so sure if they will even come or yeah. not. But for me, I always have them. They will have they, to they come. Are always there. So it becomes a mission field in a sense that I approach them with the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm. trying to, I mean, share with them what the word of God says, trying to mentor them, trying to disciple them. Mm. I mean, trying to, to, be, to be so much interested in their academic affairs. By doing that, you see that you get them attracted to you. And then you will also use the gospel to preach to them. So basically, it becomes your mission field where you propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ and you infest that campus with the values and the principles of the kingdom of God. Wow, that's 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 interesting. Now, let me come to you again, Sally. Um, as a student, you know that um, the, they will say that the basic reason why you got to campus is for studies. How are you going to manage in such a way that the mission field, or let me say the campus that you've taken as your mission field, the work of the mission will not conflict with the main reason why, or let me, let me even ask it this way. Do you even in the first place believe that your academics is the main reason why you go to campus and the mission work is secondary. Now, if that is the case, then how will you be able to marry the two? <laughs> okay. So, what are the options to answer for me? Is it yes, no, or maybe so? <laughs> <laughs> because technically, mm -hmm. academics is the reason why we came to school. Mm -hmm. yes. Technically. Technically. Okay. Okay, so I'm not justifying this to be say it's it's um it's fixed mm -hmm. okay, technically. We came to school because of academics. But then in addition to that, we are humans. Mm -hmm. If we are to predict what is going to happen in the next second or in the next two minutes, we can't. Yeah. So either ways, no matter what you do, you need to inculcate certain activities, certain things that will help you to uh, make your stay, like your academic stay interesting. Mm. The word of God is something that we can't take it out of the okay. equation. Then the way it's fixed, it's fixed. So though academics may be the reason why you came to school, but then the mission is to must go and it has to also come on. Mm -hmm. So I want to use this example. Should I even use the example? It's something that happened to me when mm -hmm. I was in basic sex. Okay. <laughs> 
You see, my father, Elder John Corwin III, he's a man of prayer. Mm -hmm. He prays a lot. So those times, I can just... Uh, you see, people come home for prayers and all that. Yeah. So sometimes, he will be praying and I'll be listening and I'll be like, so I want to do what my dad has been mm. doing. Like, sometimes he will not even lay hands on you when you fall under anointing. I wanted to be like him. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> As in classes, then time I was so naive, I didn't know much about what goes into it. I thought, oh, what's sorry, I'm not just yeah. saying. <laughs> I didn't know you need to put in effort, you need to learn the word of God, you need to fast, you need mm -hmm. to pray, and all that. So I had the faith, and then I was having this colleague who was like fainting on a regular, mm -hmm. together with a sister. Mostly to it on Fridays, mm. they can faint like in collapse at any moment, like any time, whether they're in class or they're dying, like anywhere at mm. all. So one time I decided to organize a prayer session for my colleagues as in class six. Okay. So <laughs> then you started early. I started early. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I had some of my colleagues come around. We hold hands, we pray, and <laughs> Before we like we're falling, <laughs> we're falling and now the anointing. I was like, hey, I'm doing it. Like yeah. <laughs> I was so excited and all that. I wasn't telling my dad about it. So that was the first time. The first time the teacher came around to warn us. Mm -hmm. We still continued. We were like, oh, this one is is an enemy formed against us. Hey. So <laughs> enemy. <laughs> So we continued until one time we were in class, we were doing a prayer session. And then this teacher came around. He said he has been wanting us to stop. We didn't listen to him. So all heads on the table mm. that day, three, three at our back. So that was it. I stopped. You stopped. I stopped oh. that thing. Like a few minutes so at once. But then surprisingly, the fainting thing, it stopped. stopped. Mm. And the guy testified about it. But Medium, I'm fine. I'm arguing cross. So later, later, I told my mom about it. And I'll catch him and say, if I have the passion for it, I shouldn't use my own understanding. I should pray to God. There are certain things I need to do to make sure, say, uh, if it's God's purpose for mm. me to be engaging in those things. But it was it was funny. Like, <laughs> being a kid and do you know that? So that was then. Let's take it to the university mm. space now. Now we know better. We know time we have lectures. And Pensa, I'm going to use Pensa to you, our schedule, for mm -hmm. example. We meet on tu Tuesdays, Wednesdays. Currently, we, to, we meet on Thursdays. We don't meet on Fridays. Okay. We meet on Saturdays for the evangelism and the organizing department. Mm -hmm. So you set up the place for service. So what we do is, when it's time for evangelism, mostly I don't go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Listen, I won't lie. Okay. Yeah, mostly I don't go because it sometimes meets with my schedule because mm. I'm a student at AUCC and I worship with Pensa ATU. Mm. Yes. So sometimes when I have class, and I'm an evening student okay. too, so sometimes I have an online class, impromptu class and all that, I'm unable to join them. But then when it's time for evangelism, we know that this time we don't have a class mm. so you can make it to it. And during examination too, Pensa is so friendly to the extent that I think a week or two to examination, we don't go for service. Mm. We don't go for meeting, don't go for anything. So that period, you are able to learn. Okay. And they don't stress you that much like from Monday to Sunday, come to church and all that. So you are able to go about it, to go about your studies, to go about your missions as well and mostly through during september we mostly go for missions mm. so that one it's vacation okay. so you have no excuse to say oh i have I exams have, uh, so you get it so you're able to come along and you're able to go to make the work of god um popular wow yeah. that's 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 <laughs> interesting yeah but sally i've been talking about group 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 yes. now Elder, let me come to you you have been a student before. You've been a student leader before. Let's bring it to the personal level. So as an individual in the school, on campuses, how will I be able to make that space a mission field for me? All right. So um, you have to um, resolve in your heart 
or you have to purpose mm -hmm. in your heart that I want to also integrate this one uh, to be part of my assignment on campus. When my sister was talking, she said that technically um, academics is the reason why you went to school. Fine, that is uh, true. Uh, but then in education, we have what we call latent function and manifest function. Okay. The manifest is the main reason why you went there. The latent is what you get there. Uh, what, what you, you get, do, where you get uh, there. Yeah, when the, with the, the benefits you get, me, even though they were not the reason why you went to this, by the end, mm. you acquired those things. Maybe typical examples, maybe this is just a funny thing. Some people went to school to learn, to study, now they ended up having wives. Okay. Just like yourself. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you see the, you see the issue. Okay. So it means that. So I went to school for the degree. Degree by the end. At the end, I you came, came with So <laughs> now I, I, I am, I am a student a for blessing. a particular certificate. Okay. But then I can also have a time. If somebody had a time to look for a lady, mm -hmm. then I should have also a time to also make God popular yeah. on the campus. But it all has to do with uh, you resolving your heart that this is what you want to do. Um, when I was a student at mm -hmm. the high school, what I did was that I had a passion to preach, but just that because uh, my background was no good. I'm coming from a village mm -hmm. and my English was not so good. Like but the passion was there. So I needed to go for three days fasting, telling God that, oh God, you know, the English I want to speak is not because I want to write. I was for academic purposes, but for preaching. Okay. So I fasted for three days and God granted me the grace. And I don't know why, funny enough, I don't know how it happened, but I was there one day, the, they called me that I should come and then preach at the assembly. assembly. And I did, and it was so powerful. And the English came. <laughs> the English came. And no funny enough, no funny enough, that day all my class mates came for service. And the reason why they came for service, not because they came to listen to the they word of God. They were coming to mark English. my grammar so that when we, we go back to classroom, they'll use it against me. But they themselves came to testify that by the time you were speaking, it was, you didn't make any mistake. We didn't it, notice it. Is for that you, you, They were not even calling me Ransford because of my depth in the tree language. Yeah. They used to call me a Busunya Penny. So that's the issue. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 became a student evangelist. I went to uh, room to room, break time. Mm -hmm. That's the time. Okay. Of course, so break time is a break time. You don't tell me what I should use my break time for. Yeah. Uh, just when it is steady hours, I should be in class. But for break time, I'll go to room to room and then I'll preach to other colleagues and I'll preach to other people. So and before you continue, you are telling us that one of the ways is to make very good use of your break time. That is it. Mm -hmm. All right. Your, right. your break time. That is one of the best ways is to make good use of your break time. Even if it is two minutes, it can still have impact on somebody. So mm. utilize it well. So I did that. And of course, personal lifestyle. Fact, if you're a Christian, there is something you can do that you have not spoken, but you have preached mm. the word of God to people. You live a lifestyle of evangelism, mm. Christ likeness, that to the point that people see you and they admire, mm. they will come to ask you questions. You know, one of these days um, during the school time in the high school, you know, I was engaging my colleagues, other class uh, classes. I would go there, I preach, and blah 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 mm. blah. And funny enough, my colleagues told me that oh, would they would they buy when they pay ma. Wow. <laughs> I was so I didn't know I'm wise. Oh, and you have to. And you have to the But that was uh, the extreme of it. So they saw my life and they became interested. Mm. So when there is misunderstanding in the class, of course, they already call me with a penny. They so have they to call come you to me for wisdom so that we can settle all this. I didn't know that they were observing my life. So I was preaching to them. They will not repent. And one day, one of the guys. After P, he came to me that I was here, Masachrao. Now, so we had a Nyasa Sachra. So I didn't believe it. Mm. Then the guy was so serious. I said, Oh, really? Then let's talk. In the morning, when I got to the school, he was there in front trying to preach. Mm. The zeal was there. And to the glory of God, 
what happened was that the guy totally got born again wow. and now as i am speaking he is a pastor in a wow. charismatic evangelistic wow. ministry wow. Uh, pastor steve menza and he will be getting married in december oh hey, wow, hey, wow, 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 wow. So that's, you, that's, you that's see, interesting now, yeah so just right after school he said that no he wants to go into bible school and he attended and now he's doing well wow. so you you make good use of your time your break time on campus because others seem also use the same time to go and do wrong things mm. and bad things mm. so if you are a christian you are saying that oh, and don't forget that we have we have equal time on campus yeah. so if you had yeah, some of them use it to the point that they will go out to fornicate and do this thing and still come to class yeah. with you then you have no excuse mm. and also your lifestyle must speak because sometimes when you are unable to speak talk your lifestyle must do the talking Thank wow you. if 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 you lack the the vocabs <laughs> your lifestyle must, must do the talking to the point that people will see you just as the uh, the, the church in the old, olden days yeah. the people saw them and they yes. said that ah these people have been with Christ it's it's interesting now Ada let me come back to you on this. You have talked about uh, how you can make the environment your mission field. Let's talk more about the, the, the going. How will I be able to, first of all, realize that I have to? You see, there is, there is a difference between realizing it's that you will have to do this you understand mm. yeah. uh-huh. because if if you don't come to the realization that i have the space i have the time mind you some people even throughout the week can go for lectures like two or three times mm. for like uh, let's say two or three hours a day and the rest of the day, they don't have class. Mm. Some even the whole day, they can say that, oh, today is my free day. I don't mm. have lectures that yeah. day. So until you come to the realization that I have to do this, that is when you start making good use of the time that you are talking yes. about. Because if you don't, if you don't understand, if you don't come to the realization that I have been called for this. Uh, God, uh, let me say, me becoming a Christian, it has become a mandate for me to go out and make disciples of him. Now, how do I come to this realization? Okay, thank you. So, um, to come to realization, you must have deep interest in souls. Okay. Um, Don't think about yourself alone. Have deep passion interest in souls. Think about the fact that they are going to spend eternity mm. in hell, in pain, in torment. Okay. Yeah, would that be okay for you? So, if if you think about it, you see that you begin to have a burning desire and a passion in you. Mm. So, God was in heaven, but he saw the misery of humanity and he couldn't help. Mm. He had to send his son Jesus, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. So, l- passion passion to should drive you to loving the souls so when you love the souls then after that add prayer and prepare Mm -hmm. yourself so you have to have the desire or the passion for them know where they will be going if you don't preach to them and they don't get born again have love for them know that they are just like you and realize also that if it is a good news who should hide the good news mm. i don't hide the good news yeah. i mean when we were in the village if somebody i mean if you are lucky and your son or your daughter lives in kumase and comes back to the village you are so proud yeah. Why? Because it's a good news for you <laughs> yeah so if they do that and we claim that we have received the good news mm. why should we hide it yeah we should make it known to the people and by then we have to love them mm. that they are also part of the creation of god burning desire we are i don't think that you can sit on your feet and i don't think that you would misuse your time mm. you would always use your time wisely in order to approach them and of course do you know that sometimes you go for lectures and classes and other things and mm. the lecturer is late and 
some people will be joking now we yeah. say and cry and some people will be shouting why don't you use that time to preach okay. the class it's an opportunity yeah. wherever god puts you is an advantage for advancing his kingdom wherever god puts you is an advantage for advancing his kingdom that's that's powerful that's that's powerful now let's come to someone will say that just as you i don't have the oratory I don't have the boldness. I don't have the courage to move to people to speak the word of God with them, to share the word of God. For such a person, how can that person also become an evangelist on campus? Let me start from you, Sally. Okay, so it seems most of the questions you ask me are related to me. Okay. <laughs> So, you're being prophetic. <laughs> so, um, I'm the reserved type. Okay. Very calm, mm. very shy. Unless maybe I'm comfortable around you that you okay. know the other side of me. The first time I joined Pensa for um, missions, we went to Kolegono. Is it Kolegono? No, Doblogono. Okay. And during one of the dawn broadcast, um, <laughs> one of our leaders said, Sally, you're going to be a cow. Why will you never shoot? Why will you never shoot? And I said, hey, so for me, I'm going to be a cow. I'm going to be a cow. I'm going to be a cow. I said, oh, so for me, I'm going to be a cow. I'm going to be a cow. I'm going to be a cow. So we went and I was just trying to make some quick rehearsal be in my head. Mm. Say so the mic and the mummy are then I may call her. And then she said, Don't worry. Would your cast be our person won't come? You'll be comfortable ready. No, would your car? No, make us into me country and a several form more better. No, I said, I'll cry away a fancy need. Oh, they can fancy my uncle. Let me say, Rade Bwami. So I spoke the fancy and I think God helped me. The spirit of God helped me mm. and I did it. And then Way back, actually, that was Sunday school. I don't recall the year, but I was having this friend, Nicholas. He said he wanted to go and evangelize, mm. but so we did, we prayed, and then we had this. I just opened it when he was talking that Amos 8 11, mm. and it says that, Behold, the days come, mm. sayeth the Lord God. That I will send a famine in that land, not a famine of bread mm. or a test for water, yeah. but of hearing the, the words word. of the Lord. So that verse, and that every evangelist, even if I don't know anything at all, to <laughs> say Ghana, scripture, at least, and it dear, what may I say? Come. Well, very excellent. Why yes, she know? And I have this dickness. She is popular. I don't know if you've heard of her name. I find dickness pale. Okay. Now she is a missus. Mm. She, she uh, so she is dickness, missus, pale. Aya, I'm a new edutum. Okay. Yeah. I say it's better to live your life as if there is no God mm. than to live your life. Say. Uh, okay, it is better to live your life as if there is no God, and then you realize, say, in uh, there is God, mm. or I'm exchanging it. It's better to live your life as if there is God, there is God. And you hey, then you realize no that there God. is no God, yes, rather than living your life, say, then, no then God. you go at the end and you and realize, realize that, that, that there like is I just said, the time you had, mm. no, just a, what was saying, nah. so even if you are shy, you are reserved, you are anything at all, right now. If you can't do anything, Miss Of Mammy says, Sally, who posting news? Kakana, while posting, I'm yes, and walk You can use your WhatsApp. Yeah. Just say thank you, Jesus. Something like that. Something simple. At least, if I can't about start to cry now, I can't Jesus. Mm. Just something simple. Jesus loves you, God loves you, and all that. There are simple ways of evangelizing. And if you are the shy type or you cannot speak, it's better to move with people, like moving groups. I'm sorry, I'm going evangelism. I'm going to be a kid. I'm going to be a kid. There is no shyness in okay. this thing, no. Who and me? I always say, say, I'm ever ready to learn. If I, I know something and you know better than me, 
Me ya me wo disa meaning. Na me share from you. It's better to always learn. Into what you are more kwa die tre. Cut mo mo ya wa say won't me ye. Ma wo die tre kwa. Won so oni pa kwa na first art test we wo beti me dey. Ne e da wo tre mo kwa na wo so wo kind wo kind the spirit of God will help you. You will get there in that understanding. The next time when you go there, you see say that shared eh that the shyness, the everything will just shy away and then you'll be able to do it. And you will marvel at your own self. Yes. I am I'm a I'm a testimony to that. A living testimony. A living testimony. One thing you should also understand is that there are various forms of sharing the word sure. of God. Exactly. There are various forms. You see, these days, eh, let me give you a typical example. When you get to circle right now, mm-hmm. you see people standing there mm-hmm. sharing sheets mm-hmm. and they will tell you that uh, job opportunities, share, mm-hmm. you find people sharing fake jobs mm-hmm. and they are doing yeah. it. The right to we uh, we are looking employment call this number blah 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 and people are sharing it. You can also just get sheets of paper and write Jesus loves you and just be sharing it Perfect. to your colleagues, to your friends on campus where you meet them. Jesus loves them. Just give to them. You don't have to say anything. Just give to the person yeah. and go. Just as when people are going for uh, SRC positions and elections and these things, you realize that they are they are sharing things. Yeah. So you can even write on sheet of paper, Jesus loves you. You don't know anything. Jesus loves you. And just be sharing it. You don't know how how this Jesus loves you can change somebody's life. Mm-hmm. Just that short inscription. So you can be shy like me. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm very shy, but people don't know. <laughs> I'm very, very shy. I'm reserved. <laughs> when I see people, then I can't talk. I'm, I'm shy. I'm shy. <laughs> if you're like me, you can go. They are very, just as Sally said, when you put something on your WhatsApp, by the close of the day, you realize that you have about 100 people mm-hmm. have viewed it. When you put something on your WhatsApp, by the close of the day, some people can have 300 people, 500 people watching. When you put something on Facebook, by the time you realize, when you check your analytics, about 1,000 plus people have yeah. watched it. What are you using those things for? You can just write something. You see, if you don't know anything, eh, you can just go on Google and just type scriptures about the love of God Mm. or scriptures on evangelism. Mm. You just post that scripture there. Don't say anything about it. The Bible says that Paul planted, Mm. Apollos watered, but that the increase comes from the Lord. So Mm. you can just plant the seed into the life of the person Mm. and just live. Now, let me come to your order. Talking about using the campuses or education as a mission field. I am very shy. Just like myself. Mm. (laughs) And I have guarded the courage. Mm -hmm. And I've met somebody who I want to share the word of God with this person. And this person have rejected me. They did not give me the opportunity. How will I be able to bounce back again? All right. And when you are rejected, of course, uh, certain times you're rejected. Uh, Jesus even predicted it that any place you go, a house you go and mm. they receive you, you, just tap your feet over there so that the, the dust on your feet will be left there. Mm. Uh, so it means that there are certain times that people will not accept what you are doing. But the most important thing is that don't be discouraged. Mm. Yeah, The fact that you wrote exams and you failed doesn't mean that you're going to stop school. <laughs> you have to still continue. You have to even retake it. So someone someone <laughs> said that the fact that you sat in a car and had an accident doesn't mean you won't sit in a car again. If you don't take it, it's the same car that will take you to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that somebody uh, snubbed you when you mm. were sharing the gospel. With, no. That, be happy that at least you share the gospel and then you were snubbed. Mm. Be, be rejoiceful. You know, when the disciples, they started in Acts chapter 5 and they healed somebody in Acts chapter 3, they were, they were brought before the authorities and they told them that, no, never for you to speak, never speak in the name of Jesus mm. again. And Peter said, we can't help. Judge among yourself. Is it good to obey or to... Yeah. yeah you, you understand that? Yeah. And, and after, uh, let me conclude it. After everything is said and done, they shift them mm. and they allow them. And 
amazingly, when the apostles were going and the disciples were going, they were rejoicing. Yeah. Why? Because they were counted worthy to suffer for Christ. To be beaten for to Christ. To be beaten for Christ. Yeah. I mean, when I read that scripture, I was like, wow. You saw, they shipped you and you are happy that for the sake of Christ mm. you were shipped. Yeah. They were rejoicing mm. instead of going to say, no, 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 no. It's not about that. Yeah. So bounce back. No, look at Look, look unto Jesus, receive inward motivation from the Holy Spirit, mm. and then go back and pray mm, for renewal. You will become, you will be okay. Yeah. And next time, go. Don't say that you are disappointed, so you wouldn't go again. Go. You have to. Yeah. You have to. In fact, I'm enjoying today's discussion on evangelism. Probably we will come back again to the topic of evangelism because it is our core mandate as Christians mm. and we have to make it our lifestyle. If it becomes your lifestyle when you're on campus, it is the life that you are living. Mm. So you make sure that you share it with mm. your friends. Elder, before we go, I'm giving you the next 30 seconds to say something to our audience, someone who does not know Christ, give them the gospel in 30 seconds. All right. You that is watching me and uh, you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I am here to announce to you that the Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus came to save you. It doesn't matter the kind of sin you have committed. If only you realize and come and come to yourself and tell Jesus that you need him, he is ever ready to forgive you of all the things that you have done and he is ever ready to restore you into his kingdom. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is ever ready to accept you. He's ever ready to forgive you. He's ever ready to accept you into his kingdom. So if you have believed this message that Elder has given to you, I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to Christ. So the Bible says that with the heart one believes and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Mm. So I want you to I want to guide you to make this confession unto the Lord. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I believe that I am a sinner. I believe that I'm a sinner. And for my sake you came to die. And for my sake you came, came to die. die. And so I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. So I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You have become born again. It is as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Find a Bible-believing church to join. I will recommend the Church of Pentecost for you wherever you find yourself. If you don't, uh, wherever you are, you don't have a Church of Pentecost building close to you to join, you can join the E-Church. You can call any of the numbers on your screen and you'll be attended to. My name is Brock Yoku Simon, and thank you very much for okay. joining us for today's session. But then before we go, uh, what are your last thoughts? Let me start with you, Sally. Okay, so whenever it comes to evangelism, I have this favorite Bible verse. Mm. I go it. It's in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. It reads that, for God is not unjust. Mm. He will not forget mm. how hard you have worked for him mm. and how you have shown your love to him by caring for other believers mm. as you still do. Mm. Amen. Amen. Elder. All right. Um, what I want to say is that according to Pew Research, uh, comparing Christianity in Islam in the next 26 years, that is mm. to 2050, they have realized that the way we are doing our evangelism and Christianity is growing. If we don't speed up and it is going the same pace as mm. it is going on now, by 2050, Christianity and Islam will be at the same, at the same peak. peak. So I am advising every Christian listening to me that we should fasten our belt and own the possessing the nation's agenda. Mm. Wherever you find yourself, that is the ministry that God has placed you. And it's an opportunity, just as I've already said, for you to advance the kingdom of God and then bring the interest of God over there. So wherever you are, make sure that you share the gospel with each and everyone. 
And when Jesus comes, you will never regret of it. You are going to receive a crown of rejoicing. Wow. God bless you. Wow. And when Jesus comes, you will never regret it. Thank you very much for joining us. If you are new here, kindly click on the subscribe button. Turn on the post notification so that whenever I release a new video, you will get the first hand notification. Before I, I want to say a big thank you to our director, Pastor Dr. Felix Della Cluche, for the opportunity given to us uh, to come your way every week with the Ecclesia Project. God bless you for making time with us. My name has always been Braco Kusimon and I will say till I meet again, God bless you. Bye-bye.